The art of chocolate making is one thing, using chocolate to make art is another. From a Picasso to a Da Vinci, get ready to see some edible masterpieces. There's so much in her face and her eyes that, to be honest, you could do the entire Mona Lisa, for me, from my experience of painting her, you could do the entire Mona Lisa, but just the eyes and the nose and just that look she has, if you don't get that on, it just didn't work. So it was a face that probably took 70% of the time, to be honest. As a material, it works like paint, for example, but then paint, you know, it doesn't snap, it doesn't break off. Um, it's not, you know, an issue if there's too much heat or, or cold or damp. Uh, so that, that's a real big issue. So it's, it's about painting with it, knowing that it needs to finish in a physical format as well as just looking right. So that's the hardest thing with, with chocolate. There's cheap sugar strapped across the whole of the area with a big cross through and a kind of graffiti edge. So this is for us not really to replicate something like for like as some of the other chocolatiers have opted to do, but it's about us, a statement piece, making sure people are buying the very best chocolate with the best ingredients and very little sugar.